Good evening everyone. Today we are going to start working with styles in writer. Let's see what are styles. A style is a set of format that you can apply to selected pages, text, frames and other elements in a document to quickly change their appearance. And when you apply a style, you apply a whole group of format at the same time. A whole group of format at the same time mean like you have selected the font size 14 and the font style is Time New Roman. Then you have made it bold and centered. This is the very first one. Then this is the second one, third and fourth. So it's a group of style that is being applied and combined and clubbed together and it has created one style like title. I have given it a name title over there. So we have these styles which are there in a word processor. There are some which are already there. They are predefined style. Then in case you want your own style, like if you want to make some uh, customized one, you can create that as well. So we will learn how we can create our own style, how we can use the predefined style which will make our work easier and quicker. Let's open a document writer. So this is a document which is having some formatting right now. I need to clear this formatting so I'll just select this all and then I'll go to this particular option and from here you select this option no formatting or clear formatting. So this will clear each and every formatting which is being applied to your paragraph. Now you can see that the whole text is unformatted now. Now I, what I can see over here that uh, I have a kind of subheading here. Then this is the second one and this is the third one. So I just want to add some style to my these subheadings. And I want something else of the rest of the paragraphs over here. We have uh, three paragraphs over here. This is the second one and then we have this is the third one. So how can I apply different styles to it? Now there are two ways you can open the style and formatting dialog box. One is with the menu. You will go to the format menu and uh, here you have the style and formatting option. And second way is to use the shortcut key which is F11. You can see over here, right? So I'll just press this option and here is my formatting and style and formatting dialog box. Now we we'll see each of these tabs and options in this dialog box or uh, you can say this is the paragraph style which will be applied to the paragraph so the paragraph style will apply all the formatting like font style font type the alignment everything will be applied to the whole paragraph and if you want to apply it not to the whole paragraph but to some selected text maybe that that, that could be a particular letter or it could be a particular word so in that case you have the character style which is this one after that you have frame style frame style when you have to deal with some graphics and images so i will be clearing this to this video and the next one we have the page style when you have to deal with the page like you have to uh, change the orientation when you are talking about the page size and everything there you have the page style Last year we have the list styles. Other than that, we have the bulleted list, number list. We have some more styles over here. I will be telling you about that uh, in this video itself. Then we have this format or fill format mode, which will help you to quickly apply the same kind of format which you already have applied in your document. So instead of, you know, selecting the text and clicking on that particular style in going to a particular tab, you can easily use this tool. So let's start with applying the style to a particular selected text. For this, I will select the text and or you may just click anywhere between that particular line which contains the text. So it will be applied to, to the whole line. And then I will go to the paragraph tag and uh, I just want it to be something like look like a title. So I'll go over here and I'll choose title style over here. Let me see where is it. If you also have subtitle in case you want it. But I want to apply title style. So just scroll through and double click on that. And you can see that style is applied. 
Now there are two ways you can apply the same style. Either you can repeat the same process like clicking on that particular line and uh, again going through uh, finding that particular style. So it will may take time. So what you can do is quickly if you want to quickly apply it throughout your document. Suppose it is a 10 page document so it's going to take a lot of time. So, so to save your time what you can do just click on this and we have this option fill format so click on this and wherever you want to apply it just apply that it is just like the format painter in ms word so here it will make your work quicker and easier instead of you know scrolling through it again and again and uh, selecting the paragraph doing it so and now if you want to make it disable you just either click on that or press the escape key on your keyboard now suppose that I want to apply the style uh, without this style of course I can do that as well. Let's suppose I want to apply some style to this heading. So here just like I have clear formatting I have heading one over here. So here we have some limited styles but if you want uh, more styles to be applied of course you have to open style and formatting dialog box. Alright so this was one of the way then uh, what if you want that if I press the shortcut key if you are a uh, keyboard shortcut lover and you want to use a shortcut key for applying a style that is also possible. So let's see how we can create the shortcut key for a particular style. For example, I just want that if I press the shortcut key the page orientation should change from portrait to landscape. So let me show you once here. Now you can see under page tab we have landscape. So click on your page and just double click landscape you can see that it has been changed. So instead of that I can create a shortcut key and it will de definitely do this work for me. So let's see how we can create this one but before that I want it to get the default orientation so double click on that. Now to create the shortcut key we will go to tools menu. There we have the customize option. Here we have the keyboard tab. Under this you can see that we have different keys which are assigned a different uh, functions. So let's select one of them. I just select this one alt plus one and uh, I want to apply the style. So what I can do I'll, under the category scroll down and at the end you will find styles. Under this page and then I'll select I want landscape. So select the option in the page tab you want the landscape orientation. I have selected that. Now I have to click on modify. So it is going to modify the function. You can see that the function for alt plus n is now landscape. Right. Click on ok and let's press alt plus uh, 1. Right. Alt plus 1 and you can see yes. For shortcut key lovers there is a solution for you as well. Now it's time to create your new styles. Suppose uh, these are the formatting styles which are already there. What if, if you want your own style to be there? The company demands its own style. So you can create your own style. Yes. So let's see how we can do that. First uh, let's make it default or just clear the formatting from here. Okay. And I want to apply my own style. Let's say I want uh, Verdena. Then I want it to be 15. Then I want it to be centralized, underlined, a uh, little bit bolder. And I want to add a color to it. Let's say this one. So if I want to apply this kind of style which is not there, I can create this style. So once you create the style, once you define all the settings for your particular text. Let's say uh, it is for the characters, not for the paragraph. So I'll go to the character tab. And here we have different option to create the style. So what I can do I have the option just click on this and you have new style from selection. So I will select this particular phrase and then I will click on new style from selection. It will give ask me to give a name. So I can define a name like my style one. Right. Click on OK and here you have my style one. Now suppose if I want to apply the method is same just click and double click it will be applied.
so because it's a character style so it is applied to that particular character or where my cursor was okay otherwise if you want to apply it to the whole line you just select that and it will be applied let's see and yes all right the second way to create a new style is using drag and drop method what you have to do over here is to select the select the text or the paragraph which contains the formatting from where you want to create a new style and after that you just drag it to the style and format dialog box under like character style or paragraph style i am putting it under again character style so here again it will ask me to enter the name let's add my style and then i am going to give it a name too okay so this is how you can create new style using drag and drop method the third one is you can create a new style over here itself let's uh, click on the paragraph one and here you have if you click on white space or the empty area you have the option new so i'll click on new one and it will open a paragraph style dialog box where you have different options you can give it a name over here paragraphs or like para one style something like that and then we have different settings over here you can change the indent settings you can uh, increase the uh, line spacing you can see over here i am doing it over here and you can see the changes in the preview can you see that similarly i can uh, change the alignment i want justified and uh, then i want a particular font so i'll click on the font tab where i can select again the font that i want right so let's see if i'll take this one and i want it to be bold and italic then I want it to be 15 and then I can also give it a particular color if in case I want so let's see I just want uh, this one and uh, so there are so many things that you can do with right like uppercase lowercase and I want some shadow over here so let's it uh, you have different options that you can choose uh, from and then click on ok now it has created my style which was para one let's see whether it is here or not so scroll down and, and you can see that it's here so let's click on this and uh, double click on the para one you can see that the style that i have created is applied so this is how also one of the way to create a new style i hope these three ways to create the new style is clear to you the very first one was creating the style using selection the second we have learned how to um, create it using drag and drop method the third one was to create the new style using the style and formatting dialog box so we have covered the three ways over here in case i want to you know modify the style see uh, in the character style i have style my style one my style two which are the same type you can see right again if i click on uh, double click on this one and if i click on this one they are almost same so if i want to make changes in my style one i just right click on this particular style and i have the option to delete it or to modify it so let's modify it now over here i just change the font uh, style i just change the size and let's also change some of the like let's say blinking and uh, i want to add a background color to it as well let's add this one and okay so you can see that it has been changed right now my style is something like this which is blinking and if i want to apply my style too it is something else so you can make changes in any of the style uh, you just again you have to select that particular style right click on that and you have the option to make the changes right the modify option will help you to make changes in that particular style